Boys are admiring this lovely boat. What's the name of the boat? Moon to Moon. Fiberglass. Oh, there is, there's the name, boys. It's called an Explorer 190 Evo. It's got a 200 horsepower four stroke. <laughs> you hear that? Bill tells us if we make a video, we're going to buy. Have a look at the, the chair stand. It also goes back, so you can sit frontwards and backwards. So if you're fishing, you can face that way. Look at the rod holders, Reese. You sit there and your rod can go through the rod holders. Yeah. You can put some lovely uh, speakers on it. Very comfortable, hey? You could be standing easily four, six people. Got space underneath there, all the rod holders on the sides. Put some beautiful speakers, you could make some nice music. You probably got some uh, storage space under here. Oh, fuel. Good idea. Lots of storage space in the front. <laughs> All the safety. <laughs> nice cover. Take a guess. Let's take a guess how much this would be in this hostel. I'm, I'm guessing 300,000. 340,000. 570,000. <laughs> Yo, it's worth it though. It's a beautiful boat, eh? Right, so the real reason why we're here is we've come to have a look at these. Bush Larper off road trailers. So I've driven past the Bush Larper factory in Cape Town, uh, Stellenbosch, quite a few times. Your aunt and uncle, Melissa and Brendan, are looking at this to buy. They've got all the models here on display at the moment. I know. This is the Bush Larper Caver. So it's got your little kitchen area outside. Your storage spots, your pull out fridge, you've got your stove area, all your place to store all your goods, utensils, pots and pans. And uh, what's nice about this, have a look at this bat, what they call the bat awning. This is a 270 degree bat awning. You've got uh, your wash up area here. Hot and cold water showers. Uh, these are obviously the stands where you put the, the leveling on it. So you've even got, you look at how nice this is, hey? you can see this is fully waterproof. A lot of them have got a problem with the with water ingress over here. So you can see that actually straps into there so it actually stops any water coming out. So you're fully waterproof. Yep. High, high quality. Off road. Yeah. Let's go and have a look inside. So, in my opinion, up. South Africa is definitely the world leaders in off-road camping trailers. I've looked at a, a number of sites overseas and there are some good things. But in terms of quality and uh, utility, the South African market is definitely leading. There's a shower here, Dad. So here's your, looks, definitely looks like a king size extra length bed, eh, boys? Yeah. Obviously oh, it's not put up. I can stand. Obviously not put on, put up like a hundred percent. So there are a little bit of places like here which would probably be a lot more tighter. You've got all your storage areas here for clothes and things. And I guess there will be more under the, underneath your seats. Yeah. The toilet could go in here. Um, no, sorry, here. There's a shower and toilet there, so you'd walk around. But um, you know where you could put a toilet is underneath here. Yeah? No, no. But you know what's missing here, boys? I came and saw this yesterday. Can you imagine now that this table could drop down it does. and turns into a bed? It does. No, no, it doesn't turn into a bed. Oh, it's just, yeah. Yeah. So the table does drop down. There's the biggest drawback on this particular unit, is the fact that it should be, that should be able to turn into a bed that goes out the tent. Yeah. And look at that, you could be sitting out in the bush somewhere. Oh, look, this does actually turn into a bed, look, but it's not a big bed. See? You drop it down, yeah, and, and then it goes, but... That's like a baby or kid. Then you could probably just squeeze on you. Yeah, but imagine if this one had this section that could come out here, with the tent that came out the, the side here, then yeah, it would, would be would absolutely fantastic. Today. You would love this. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. There's your hot water geezer. Oh. So this is the shower that connects here, boys. Look yeah. there. There's a whole shower inside here. Hot water geezer. 
And obviously there's the door to enter and exit. Look how well constructed this oh, is, hey? Look here, it's stay. actually on a battering awning. Yeah. This is insane, insane, insane. So I guess your, your, your toilet would actually go in here, boys, am I right? Yeah. All of this would be properly, look here, properly it hasn't been put in here, so it's not sealed. Yeah. So it would all be properly fitted inside you, so no, if you're out in the bush, no animals will come in. <laughs> so have a look at this. This is the bundu top. So you know Nick from the sailing club? Yeah. This is what he's got in his. This is automatic. So you push a button yeah. and automatically it just raises. Yeah, there you they are. Oh, look. All, all these lines and everything. And look how comfortable you are inside your lights, oh. bed. These things go for about 50,000 rand, yeah. even more. Look at this. What is this? Is that roof? Yeah. That's a canopy, yeah. yeah. No, 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 Ben. <laughs> oh, look, they finally got the boxes. I've been hunting for these. I actually need to get one. You can't find those in stock anyway. So there's some really interesting things coming out, eh? I was, guys, I went to the Echo 4x4 um, factory on Monday. You know that in Joburg. Yeah, we do. Oh, look at that. We should get them. For our trip, eh? We've got our trip in coming. We're going to Limpopo next month. Through the Kruger Park. Up into Makambugwe, right? and we're going to into Botswana this time. Yeah. So come yeah. and have a look out here. Oh, the invader, there. Uh, Here's the invader. Oh, I found it. Huge, Let's go around this way. Big. Let's come back to the invader. I want you guys to have a look at these bush lockers because they're all open. Oh, all of the models have been opened up here. Yeah. So this is going into proper, proper next level camping. Bush locker. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go in from that side so I can actually just get the name of the, the trailer. Okay, so this is the Rattle 4. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest problem with these things is they are fantastic, but for the ordinary person on the street, it's a lot. There's a sink, there's so many Yeah, so this is, this is next level, hey? So again, look here. Do me a favor, just open up this bed and just see if there's a table that can go out there. That doesn't turn into a table, hey. It's just storage. Storage. Yeah. There's a look, there's a it's sink, careful, basin. It? It's probably just to hold something up. But I'm guessing, look here, see what's what? inside here, Reese? Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a table yeah. inside here. Yeah? Look, look at this like this counter. Let me jump inside. Oh wow. So the nice thing about these guys is they're made of like almost full aluminium, hey? Just putting a window here would be nice. No, they put a mirror. So you've got yourself, what is this, like a double bed? That's bigger than this is This is huge, it's even bigger than a king size extra length, eh? Look here, you've got all this lovely space around yeah, you. Oh, wow. Jump inside there, boys, and tell me what you think. Oh. <laughs> good enough head space to like, like sit like up. This is like, oh my. Comfortable, eh? Yeah. Jeez. Look, I love it. I could sleep with you guys if I'm getting trouble. Open this bag, Reese, and just satisfy my curiosity if there's a table because you know my biggest issue with these things is they you, you've got to have a table inside so on a rainy day or if it's cold gas. or let's say for instance there's elephants that are coming like close to the yeah. tent what is gas and electric for your hot water geezer oh uh, yeah it's a table it's a table yeah where would you think it goes could be somewhere the perfect place would be somewhere over here so you could actually sit, you could be sitting here and if there was a table there you could be doing games, you could eat. There's a whole bunch of storage in here. You could even have a fixed TV inside here, you know that? Yeah. Like this, in here. This is like extra. Very nice, eh? Extra. So I think this is the one that Melissa and Brennan are looking at, the Rata 4. So let's have a look here. Another oh, one. Oh. oh hang on, we haven't gone all the way around this one, okay? So let's oh, look what? at the kitchen area. So here's your pull-out fridge drawer. And all your um, cutlery utensil holders. This, this is like this, this thing no way. Look how easy this comes out. Yeah, that. Cups. Next, next, next level. All your fasten. Yeah, the kitchen yeah. area. And look here, it's got a back wing. So very much like the other one, it'll go around 270 yeah. attached to here. Or the estate houses. 
This is insane. No, it's, it's absolutely incredible. I almost agree with Melissa and Brennan that the Bushlaufer is definitely a, a brand above, above other brands, I believe. Yeah. No, so this is this is a little bit shorter. It's a bit cheaper. Or is it? Better than four. Because this is a little 548, okay. This will be probably the highest spec one. Yeah, look here, it's got the bigger kitchen. You pull out fridge drawer. I think they're looking at the rifle, eh? These, these this are like one. bigger, bigger... Look, there's a... But hang on a second, now, why is this one more expensive, but it seems to be a bit smaller? Yeah, well, I think it has more space. It's taller. So here's the table. Yeah, I definitely, definitely think... Taller. Obviously, the table can go outside. Or it comes... But you probably found that... Look here, I guarantee this bed goes... I know yeah. it doesn't. Why can't we flip this over? Oh, they probably needed to flip it when the bed was being made. <laughs> but flip it over, just fold it in half, and then push it, yeah. Oh, no, jeez. You, know, you could have an air conditioning in here. You I could have these your toilet could be in here. Some one of these cabinets. Look at all the space you get here, guys. <laughs> Fully aluminium. I like the electrical one. system. You put all your your medicine. Hot water showers, all your medicine, your toothbrushes. All that here, yeah. Like this is small enough. You know, big enough. But you know the thing with these, hey boys. You're paying a lot of money for it, but I can tell you something now, this thing will last longer than you and all of us <laughs> on this earth, I can promise you, because it's made with us from such good materials. Look how strong and, this is. And I do normally find that the resale value on these things, they don't depreciate, they actually hold value indefinitely. Back wing awning 270, full washout area. Yeah, that the, the build quality on these things are, are unbelievable, eh? I mean, this is like a good replacement for I mean, look here, guys. You've got all these things for your cups and plates and sauces. Oh, Dad, look. There's coming. <gasps> are we allowed to take one? No. Oh, come on. Steal it. Just put it in your shirt. <laughs> what do you think, boys? Do you think we should invest in one of these? Half a million no, rand. Not this. this that goodness. would probably cost us, jeez, I would go probably five grand a month. Any more? Yes, yes, surprise. It's insane. <laughs> what else you got this time? Well, that you wouldn't be able to put What is that? Yeah? Oh, here's another one, boys. Oh, it's oh. another bear bear, same one. Just different color. What color do you think? Gray or white? Which you prefer? Uh, I almost like the gray one. Yeah. I mean, look at the construction of the stairs, even, hey? I think this one's so I mean, cracked up. the quality up. of this is just crazy. I think this one's so Yeah, it's cracked up. Take you know what? Uh, this is not new. This is coming for service. Yeah. Oh, people, yeah, yeah people. it's actually coming from Namibia. There's an Everest. These are also pretty cool. The Bob Taylor. Oh, they've made it. Oh no, here's this one. That's just the sales office. Come and have a look at the the invader, boys. This is also pretty cool. See, look at the price difference. Eh? This is like two hundred thousand cheaper. What? It's, it's like got all your beds and things what inside. Why is yeah. that? But here we go, you know, I always say that these caravans and trailers have got, all got faults, where they don't, they don't conform to every, well there's the problem, so let me show you exactly why this is a problem for us, look at the bed here, so you have to sleep this way, and they've got an extender for your feet to go out into the tent, can you imagine me with this thing, you have to jump over mom, or me, mom jump over me to go to the toilet, you guys will sleep, you could probably comfortably sleep there, Jump on and see how you fit there, Reese. Okay. It's very nice, but have a look here, boys. Setting this thing up with all these poles and things. Oh, they're probably not too bad. Give it. Don't feel quite broken. It's perfect. I can't oh. stretch my legs out. I mean, okay, do you remember this one? Ben, you know exactly what goes on here. Shit, boys! So as you saw, we had a little bit of an incident, the trailer legs weren't put down, so we had a bit of a triple, but the trailer's perfect. So I've also been to the Invader factory in Cape Town, boys. Went to have a look at this. This is actually also an incredible trailer. It is. Hell of a well built. It's made out of fiberglass, so it's not going to rust or deteriorate or rust over time. <laughs> and uh, some cupboards inside, full on electrics. But the main problem with this, boys, have a look at the awning system here. So you don't have a wrap-around awning, so 
there's a bit of a bit of work to putting the awning up in the side, so that's also a drawback of this particular right, show. So what did you expect me to do? <laughs> this thing was falling out. I thought we were going to like crash and burn. <laughs> right. Look at this lovely place, boys. Very, very similar to ours, eh? Same motor as ours. Hey, I've seen this. It's a lovely layout, eh? It's very much the, uh, in fact, I think it is an Infanta. It's going for 80,000. I would say if it had a, if it had a four stroke motor on it, it would be for me probably very well. There's an XT 140, this is what uh, Tammy and Lloyd have got. But I think Lloyd wants to put these drawers on the camp. So these drawers go in. And you can put all your clothes and all your cutlery and, well, clothing and this is all the other stuff, food and stuff. Just open now, I want to see if I'll be able to get my fridge in there. Good. It hooks here. Oh. Um, yeah, I think you could. I think, yeah. in fact, there's a... Mm, look, in fact, you will be able to get the fridge in here. Yeah. We must actually look at this trailer, you know that. And it's got our, we can put our tent on the top. The only drawback is, is obviously the... Oh, I <laughs> we get a, I think we're doomed to, to leave here with damage. Please look at my leg. I just walked into that tree. See? <laughs> so the, the thing here, look, is trying to get the yeah, kitchen system here. Please, can you do me a favor and see if you can open this wheel all, off there? I want to have, actually have a look inside the trailer. Hey? Pull that out. Wait, wait, before you do No, no, no. Doesn't it swing? No, I think it's it right. Yeah, you doesn't just pull those pins out. Another one. There's locks on the bottom. Okay, now whatever you do, we don't want you to get hurt. So don't pull this thing, and the next thing is fucking falls on you. <laughs> Just give it a pull, it's on a hinge system, you just got to pull it. Okay, let me give it a go. There you go. So that opens like that, and then let's have a look inside here. You see, look guys, there's the problem. You don't, you don't have enough space to build a kitchen. So I know that these things have got a kitchen on this side, or on that side. Okay, would you lock it up, Richie? Yeah. We could build maybe a small like, kitchen unit there. I mean, I think, Dad, you lift no, gosh, on. this thing doesn't have a kitchen anyway. Yeah, you gotta lift it and put it back on the lift. What's that thing that says? Yep. Yep. What is this? What's that, boy? It's a storage place, you can put pegs and electrical stuff. Oh, uh, you can also put your fridge in here. Oh, there's the fridge, look. Oh, there's the fridge. We could turn, possibly turn that into a kitchen area. Yeah. yeah with the pull-out drawer system and put the fridge inside here. Right, what else we got here that's interesting? Let's have a look. There's an Echo, these are the Echo trailers, the factory I went to on Monday, Reese. These are what I, I would assume are older type models. Yeah, I'm looking at the things that have the, 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 the why did you shout my name when the thing... Well, I thought you were going like, to fall out the tent or something. Well, me, not them. <laughs> you guys, okay, so what you don't realise, you guys were lying on the bed. So you were on a cushion. So if you'd fallen, you would have been nice and soft and squishy. <laughs> I was standing on the front of the thing when it went over like that. And I thought I was going to end up on top of you and the whole thing was going to collapse. And we were going to be charged a half a million rand to because <laughs> we broke it. <laughs> these are quite nice. Eh? This is the, the Oryx. They don't make these anymore, but they're, they are small. But for one person, two people, three people. For two people, this is incredibly comfortable and it's very light to move around. No, Reed, there's no hinges. Mm. No, it's on wheels, it's fine. Yeah. What do you mean it's no. on wheels? No, two people. It's pretty big. You I think a for fridge? a couple going on, on a little holiday, it'll be yeah. perfect. I do think that the bed could be a little bit longer, so you don't have to sleep sideways, you could sleep yeah. long ways. Look here, Reese, it's got a wraparound awning. Yeah. And then I think your, your whole kitchen you set up is over here. Inside here, this drops down mm -hmm. and the kitchen comes out. Yeah. And you know what else I've seen? I've seen guys put on here, there's like a, a mechanism that folds and then there's a rooftop tent on the front here. 
top. That's so the kids sleep in the rooftop yeah. tent and the adults sleep inside. That's what we Yachts, These are also very nice. This is the 2016 Escape. I've been looking at this as well. So you've got your kitchen area inside there, which is your pull-out system with your fridge and your no kitchen hinges. area. No, it's on wheels. It's fine. What do you mean it's on wheels? Oh, hang on. I see the same. The other one was on wheels as well. Jump on the bed and see if you can sleep long ways rather than sideways. Yeah, I'm not going on it. It might tip. No, it won't tip. I'll, I'll hold it here. No, you, what do you mean, like that? Yeah. No, you can't. What? Uh, you see, there's the problem. The new ones, the 2020 Escape, you can sleep that way. Yeah, yeah. this is going to tip. There's a lot of cupboards. Boys, should we see if this electric fence is working? Okay. Go ahead. Do you dare me to touch it? I dare you. <laughs> I'll give me a thousand rand. No. A thousand rand. Just do it. I'll give you a thousand rand. What? To touch the fence. No, just do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a good couple of whiskeys before I touch fences. <laughs> now look at boys, here's the Cavango. The Cavango is the epitome of trailer tents, of caravans in fact, for off-road. This is an older model, it's a 2019, although it's not too old. But I, I'm, I, I can tell you now this one hasn't been well looked after. Look at the condition of it inside here. Uh, Dad, oh, yeah. Dad, I can easily see the hinges here, they're not down. Yeah. This is big enough for you and Mom, not long. Um, well, okay, so let me jump inside. I want to show you guys why this is actually the ultimate trailer. I'm not going to, I'm not going to stand inside. So this is the Kavango. So the best thing about this is that this turns into a double bed. Well, in fact, the king size extra length bed. There's a table in the center here, so that drops down. That whole thing comes into a bed, or if you want to, it turns into a, a table during the day. Your toilet and, and everything is inside there. That pulls out, and you've got a toilet and shower, and there's a vanity case inside there. The newer models actually, the one goes out like that, and then you stand on top of the shower in the toilet, which is freaking absolutely unique. You've got access to your fridge inside the, the trailer. Full on fiberglass, and you've got this much bigger bed over here for the kids. So, ultimately, if we were going to get one of these things, this is kind of a, the trailer I would go for. But I would go for the new one. The new one's also nice and, and grey, newer colours. So this door opens, let's see it might actually open. I'll give you a little test to see. So this here, this is the older model. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a picture. So you've got all your toiletry goods here. And then if you have a look here guys, there's actually a rail. There's a whole tent that comes out of this thing. So you enclose it and then you'll, there's your yeah. shower on the side. And you put your toilet down. Thanks Ben. This is a bundu. I've seen these around, but I haven't been to the factory or anything. So I don't really know too much about them. Oh, full of water from the rain. Not good. There's another XT. Oh, here's the XT160. That was the 160 we were looking at there as well, I think. Oh, no, no, that was the 140. Here's the 160 that's got the kitchen on the side. Look, boys. So see here, this has got oh, the kitchen wow. on the side here. Hot water area. 160,000, not too bad. Someone has stolen a cup. Right, close it or someone maybe broke it. Let's have a look inside the back of this one, Reese. Can you figure out how to open it? Yeah. This one, it actually looks like the wheel goes up. See if you can see how it goes. Yeah. I think if you pull this, oh, yeah. this handle here. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh. No, that's crazy. Wow, that's pretty cool, hey? It's going to go right up. Look at this. Oh, and there's Jeepers, and that's really go? cool. Well, maybe you have to latch it somehow, but yeah, I think at a certain point it'll stay yeah. up. Then you've got access to all your, your goodies here. Oh, the bottom goes down. Pull the latches out, Reese. Hey? Pull the two latches. Look inside there, there's a latch on either side. Pull it down and, and drop it. What? What? Heat? No, yeah, look there. Drop it. Open it and drop it, Reese. Dad, I let you finish. I don't get what you okay. mean. Okay. Ben? You come and do it. I can see Reese is afraid. Pull the latches. What? No, I don't know what you mean. You can't, Dad. You there's, can, there's guys. A Look. Oh, what does that do? Oh, this drops. I wouldn't want to do that. No, it's broken. It's broken. Hold on a second. It's broken, Dad. Stop. Nothing's broken here, boys. You just got to learn how to do it. Okay, so what's happening is it's a bit caught on here. 
not broken. I just think it needs a little bit of wedging. Okay, so anyway, so you get the drift. That drops down. Look here, there's a full pull-on table tray system here. Yeah. Easily enough space to put a whole kitchenette in there. And look at all the drawer systems you've got here. Let's pull this out. Okay. You can have all your, oh, your wow, food, cups, cu uh, cups and cutlery oh, and all kinds of stuff crazy, in there. This is crazy. What a lovely trailer. Okay, you boys each grab one in and push. Oh, we gonna, gonna put that in. That's it. Well done boys. Just give it a good whack. There you go. Let's stop this Reese. Okay, so I'll tell you where I see a problem with this trailer. What's the problem, Ben? That's all you do. So, guys, I've seen this one before. This one's got an awning that goes this way and an awning that goes that way. So you've got pegs all around. And again, the awning system with this thing doesn't work well in heavy rain. So, lovely trailer, but to set up and down, it's not the easiest. Oh, let's have a look what's on this side. That other side had the kitchenette area. Hmm. Maybe you can sleep in here, eh? No. <laughs> Doubt it. Oh, it what would you guys think? In fact, you know what I would do? Yeah. I'd probably put a couple of shelves in here and then we make it into a clothes cover. Yeah. But people want to see the chains? No, this is, I think, inside the tent, boys. So the tent drops this way and this is where you, yeah. you're actually inside the, the tent here. So you've got access to your clothes and stuff. Fridge? Fridge. Pull out drawer. Look, there's all your wires, gas. Very nice, eh? Oh, no, it goes that way, Dad. Yeah. Uh, does it go that way? Yeah. In fact, I think you could pull it anyway. No, look. Oh, yes, it's stopping. All right, so I'm guessing then... Yes, yeah, so your kitchen is that side and then your... It's, it's so weird. It looks like you could like, use a ruler. Oh, you know what's nice here? Yeah. Okay. You could... Oh, look here, boys. Pull that one out. More space for uh, clothes and stuff. Maybe all your shoes and things, eh? Yeah. Because it's for dirty. You know what's surprising to me? This one looks almost brand new, you know that? Yeah. This, it's actually this in, in really... Well, you could give it a good wash. But generally I can see this has been sitting in someone's garage. It's in exceptionally good condition. I guess that will be a water tank. Oh, there's water a hot shower. water shower. Wow. You know what's going to happen here? Yeah. There'll be a place to put up a cubicle here. I know, Dad, why does it say hot and cold or gas? Mm. They look there, it's there. What's there, boy? Cool. Yeah, so there will be a gas. Oh, uh, here's your geyser here, look. Oh. So your geyser's in the front here. That's so cool. Yeah, this trailer just needs to be cleaned. Yeah. You've got jerry cans for water and the fuel. Oh, there's the jerry cans for fuel. What would you put in here? Oh, Maybe safety equipment. There's a jerry can on the side here. Probably food. This is actually very, very nice, eh? And at 160, it's, how much is it? 170,000 is not a bad price, eh? Yeah. Let's see if I can lift up the, the front. Because the main problem with these things is actually just the, the weight of it, eh? Actually, I can lift it. It's not heavy at all, eh? That's pretty cool. What's this? The geyser. That will be your geyser outlet, yeah, the heater exchange. You know what? I'd really like to come and see. You see what happens when they leave it outside now. Look at it. It's getting all rotten. I'd really like to have you. a look at how this, this thing opens up. You know that? You ew. Just needs to be washed. Yeah. Very, very nice, eh? This, is this one? This That's a, this is the same 160. This is an older version. It's called a Jurgen Safari. I think it's an Explorer. Also very nice. In fact, it's a very, very similar design to the Cabango. Mm -hmm. The only problem with these things, they, they're made of wood. So you're obviously going to have wood rot and those kind of things yeah. coming. I do think it's quite heavy as well. It's got the aluminium casing. But all in all, a very, very nice trailer. There are newer ones um, to this model. In fact, hang on a second. This is the new model, yeah. This is the, I think it was from about 2018, 2019, where they upgraded this specific model. Now, this is very nice. Very, very nice. But again, you know, boys, when you buy something of this weight, can you imagine if we go up to Botswana with something like this? You'd need, you'd need a 3.2 Ford Ranger <laughs> with serious horsepower. Oh, Dad, here's, here's a, a thing that you lift up and down. 
Oh, oh yes, there's the bundu top. Don't yeah, it's also, you see what happens? This has got to go from there to the red one to make it operate. Oh. Right now it's charging from the solar panels. Oh. Have you seen the solar um, I saw solar panels on it yesterday. Did you come here yesterday? Yeah, they had a solar panel on the ground here which was feeding the, the oh. power. What did you come here yesterday? I came to get some stuff and then I needed to go home to double check the, the prop size. Uh -huh. This is what Melissa and Brendan have currently got. Ah, yeah, I remember. Jake's yeah. I wonder if it actually isn't there. Because I'm pretty sure he said they were selling it. Yeah. Actually, hold on, boys. This is not theirs. They've got the one with the kitchen here. This is theirs, yeah. They have one with the sink. 2013 oh. spring. Yeah, swing, yes, sorry. This is theirs. Yeah. They have these type of curtains. Because, the, they yes, they've got the outside. Brendan just had this whole section replaced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah. This is the front door. Oh, no, this is not exactly theirs. It's very similar. In fact, this like is probably the newer, a newer model. Yeah. Right. So there we go. We've been to see all the trailers. We're going to get our accessories. Go home. We're trying to get the the boat sorted out today. And then you guys have got to do some more learning. Awesome.